Henry Riley is with us for a little bit of an update on on yesterday's adventures. Do we have a little reminder of what was um, what was said in this studio just just over twenty four hours yes. ago? Yes, I, I will come to that, James. Don't okay. worry, I'll give you the full recap. Um, you may not have been aware, James, but Nigel Farage was in this studio yesterday. What? Um, I think may, may, maybe maybe surely someone of, had something to say about that. Maybe a slight crossover with yourself. Um, but there were, of course, a range of issues that were raised by Mr. Farage and by callers. Firstly, this was a question from David in Manchester. Nigel, you say taken some criticism recently so the question i'd just like oh, to yeah. ask yeah the question i'd just like to ask is um do you now have an office in clacton and how many surgeries have you held there since elected oh very good you must have been brief with the daily mirror david well done you mark where do you live david Manchester. Manchester. Oh, I'm pleased why, why that, I'm, that i'm pleased that clacton's so keen for you do i have an office in clacton yes Am I allowing the public to fl- flow through the door with their knives in their pockets? No. No, I'm not. Why would the people of Clacton want to flow through the door with knives well, in they their did pockets? Well, they did in South End. Right. They killed and murdered David Amos, and he's a right. far less controversial figure than me. Right. David, I'm Will dealing with holding daily. Surgeries? David, I'm dealing with emails and phone calls with Clacton residents every single day. Although I have to be honest, I've been so overwhelmed with the thousands of emails that I've had that putting together an office, putting together a team and attempting to get through the backlog is one hell of a job. I am doing some Zoom um, surgeries. Right. Which you won't be doing physical surgeries in Clacton? Not yet. Do you envisage that you will eventually? When Parliament allows me. Why is Parliament blocking you? Have a guess. Have you been advised for your own security not to hold surgeries? I would have thought that would make sense, wouldn't you? Who was that advice come from? Well, we're, you know, the Speaker's office. Lindsay Hoyle's and, office. And beneath, not... beneath the Speaker's office, there is a security team who give advice and say you should do some things and not do others. So we're not in a fit state to do the old-style surgeries. But you know what, David? If you've got something to say to me as a Clacton resident, actually, Zoom is not the end of the world, is it? I thought he was passionately opposed to working from home. Well, I mean, his argument is, is Zoom's a sort of a, a way for him but to do it. But obviously, what the first thing any decent journalist would do is get onto the Speaker's office. Well, I, and that's exactly what we did. So oh. we, we went to the Speaker's office um, and the House of Commons security team. Uh, they said they have no recollection, our understanding, of telling Nigel Farage that he should not hold in-person constituency surgeries. The Speaker's office would never advise an MP not to hold in-person surgeries. They would instead advise MPs on how to safely hold in-person surgeries. Surgeries. But and that would apply to every single MP in Parliament? That would apply to every MP in Parliament. Right. But it, so what's his late... Let me guess. There's another wriggle. That, well, they, well, Nigel Farage's spokesperson has has spoken with us about that. So he uh, gave us a statement yesterday whereby he, he has moved away from the point that it was perhaps the Speaker of the House of Commons oh. and said that advice had come not to hold in-person surgeries. He's still maintaining that was the case. But from the Parliamentary Security Department and the Home Office. So I, I've spoken with both of them. Uh, with these kinds kinds of cases, James, they they will not comment on an individual MP. Um, the Parliamentary Security Department comes from the House of Commons. They're saying that they won't comment on this, but they do offer um, all MPs yes. a range um, of advice when it comes to surgery. So it's a, a sort of blanket advice for all MPs. And of course, after the uh, murder of David Amos um, and, and indeed Joe Cox, many MPs took much more stringent security measures at their constituency surgeries than they had previously done. So... <laughs> Well, what a turn up for the books, eh? Nigel Farage saying things live in this studio that turned out to be completely untrue. Well, you're right, and you're right about MPs. I mean, there's there's a few that have officers in their constituencies. There's a few that have that have different ways of doing it. You have to register before, whereas you you never have to you never had to do that in the past. So there are some MPs are holding in person surgeries, but going about it yeah. with um, more measures. So just to be clear, how many has he held so far, either in person or on Zoom? In terms of a specific surgery, yeah. none. But he's oh. he's dealt with with constituents sort of one on one via, or his team have dealt with individuals one on one via Zoom or or as he puts it, telephone um, calls as well.